Hi everybody and thanks for joining. I'm Seb Francis from Titus Learning and today we're going to run through how to add a Twitter feed and other types of, of news feeds to your Moodle site. Um, so the feeds can be added to a number of locations on the platform. It can either be on the home page, uh, which might be used as a bit of a, a global school news feed to push out to all users. It could be within the My Dashboard and My Moodle area for perhaps more personal feeds um, or moving on to course areas where you can get ones that are related to the topic that you're teaching, or perhaps you've got a, a class Twitter page as well that, that's updated. Um, so in this example, we're going to go through to one of our courses, and we've linked to that via an icon from the front page. Um, immediately what we'll do is going to turn editing on, because we need to add a new block to our Twitter feed, um, to, our, to our course page, sorry. So then if we scroll down a little bit to the bottom of the blocks, select add a block, and then choose HTML. Now, once this has been added, it will go back to the bottom of our list of blocks, so we're going to scroll down and find it, and then by clicking just this move icon here, the one with the four arrows, we're going to pull that towards the top of the page. Um, so that is just here. Now, if you click this little cog button here and select configure HTML block, this will allow us to title our block and to add the relevant feed as well. So we're going to add the Titus Learning Twitter feed, so I'll just title it as such. And then in the content area, this is where we're going to be adding the HTML code, uh, which will be the, the embedded Twitter feed. Now, if you click this little top left button here, this gives us a few more menu and editing items. And it's this last one here, the two arrows, which is the one we want to be clicking, which is for HTML. And then we can paste in here and it will be um, embedded onto our site. So going off to Twitter to get our code that we need to paste into it. Um, I will put a link into the, the Twitter page which shows how to create this widget, uh, but this is what you need to do in order to get the code and, and embed that within Moodle. Uh, so you'd go for create new. We've obviously created one previously, so we'll just click edit here, and then you can see at the bottom here, we can select all of this, copy the text, and pull that back across to our Moodle. And just paste in there as such. And you won't see anything at this stage, but then when we save and go back to the course page, you'll see the, the embedded um, Twitter feed. So you can choose got another couple of settings about where this block is shown, uh, whether it's on this page or through the whole site. You can choose to edit those if you need to. Click Save Changes and back to our course page. So now, on the left-hand side, you can see we've got our embedded Twitter feed. Um, like I said, this can be added anywhere within the site. Um, you can do a global one that runs all the way through, or you've got course-specific ones as well. Um, so that, in a nutshell, is how to add a Twitter feed. Um, I'm going to go on to do a video about RSS feeds as well, so keep an eye out for that. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to, to get in touch. Thanks a lot.